Hi Virgo, how are you doing? Welcome to this mid-month reading for you for the mid-month of April 2021. We are starting today having a look at your chakras and seeing what chakra needs more attention. At this moment, we're going to go into the Chakra Insight Oracle and figure out how can you balance this chakra, okay? And then we're going to go into more insights from the tarot. But for the moment, let's have a look and what chakra needs more attention at this moment. And it's the third eye chakra, okay? So this chakra is located between the your two eyebrows, okay? It's about connecting sensing visualizing okay about your senses about your intuition about feeling the things around you about seeing the things but working with your intuition so much okay and this chakra is also aligned with your sacral chakra as well so it's all about the water the emotions the senses the fears your creativity Okay, all about that. But let's see how can you work better with this chakra, okay? Let's have a look. First of all, if you're gonna look into maybe um, some crystals, maybe amethyst crystal would be good for you, um, as well as some um, foods. If you like berries, blueberries will be very good for this chakra as well. Okay. All right. Why would there be four? I just want the three. Okay. So I guess we need more cards here today. So we have seen again focusing on this. Okay. Um, sometimes you could even be um, looking at the landscape, looking at the distance. Okay. And some visions could come to you. Maybe pay attention to that. Okay. Pay attention to what comes to you, all right? Then we have sexuality, as I mentioned before, in relation to your sacral chakra. Openness, sharing, beauty, honor, okay? Maybe there's here some lack of honoring yourself for who you are, okay? Honoring or your sexuality. What do I mean, honor your sexuality? Honor, I don't know if you're... A man or a woman honor who you are okay and accept who you are from what you are be open and we are human beings okay we have needs we have emotions so it's good for you to open yourself for some emotions maybe you have some um, blockages from your childhood even maybe from the time that you were in your mom's womb okay words that were said feelings emotions that happen during um, the pregnancy that do keep inside you they kept inside you until now okay and it's it's time to open yourself and let that go okay and realize that whatever whatever happened in your mom's life or in your father's life or whatever it is it doesn't have to happen to you, okay? You are a completely different person. You have your own life, your own emotions, your own guidance, your own DNA. DNA, it's unique. So you are unique here, okay? And then we have grounding, nature, presence, practicality, stability. As I was just mentioning before, if you're looking at the distance or in nature, so maybe focus on nature focus on going into the nature okay and rooting yourself because if you see this person here is like the roots of the tree so maybe some grounding meditation walking in bare feet in nature if you have a chance even at home if you're able to walk in bare feet okay and feel like don't just walk like feel the senses feel how you feel with your plant and um, on the ground like when you when you squeeze and when you flex, okay? And when you put pressure on your fingers or on your heels, like how does that feel? What kind of emotions you come into your, into your body, okay? Feeling this stability, feeling the presence, okay? Being present in the moment. So definitely grounding could be a very good for you. So let's see what further messages we have from your spirit guides here with the tarot. OK. 
Okay. So we're going to take three cards here. So the Emperor, okay, so you have very strong energy here. The Sun, beautiful, and release, as in Death card, okay? So starting here, having a look at this um, top row, it's very strong, okay? You, you are very... Um, you're very certain of what you want, okay? You're very logical. And maybe this is what is happening. You, you, you're extremely logical because with this emperor, you have the king of swords. So a person that is very logical, methodical, okay? It's very, um, things have to be this way. There's no, there's no flexibility here. Okay, we have the two now. Then we have the page of wands and the king of wands. Okay, so as I was saying, so with this emperor and this king of swords, okay, so things are too logic, things are too methodical, repeated, okay, there's, there's a routine there, and you don't really like routines here, okay, because the need for this grounding, the need for this intuition doesn't require so much being extremely logical here, okay, of course, everyone needs to be logical, but you need to be practical as well, okay? And, and sometimes we need to let go of some things, okay? You have to just allow your, as I mentioned before, your creativity, okay? Allow to see things more than you actually see in your physical eye. Because you have here the sun and the page of swords and the page, sorry, the page of one so there's a lot of good things coming towards you okay and whatever you're going you see these are all great ideas brilliant ideas that are coming for you from your spirit guides okay there could even be something new coming here whether um whether this is this could be in relation to a house to a relationship a job a career on business okay there's definitely here when you open to receive this intuition, there's definitely good things coming your way, okay? And then we have the release with this King of Wands. So there's a transformation happening here. <clears throat> there's a big transformation happening here. And this King only tells you that everything is going to be fine, okay? Everything is going to work in the perfect order, okay? Because he's... he's He's the best king here, okay? Plus you have two kings here. So there's a lot of, um, <clears throat> there's a lot of straightforward things here. There's a lot of thinking, okay? Because this goes into thinking with the emperor that it's an Aries card. So there's a lot of looking into the things in a logical way, okay? And, and here with the fire, it's more about taking action. But with this, that here, it asks you to transform the way you see things, transform the way you act, transform the way you think, okay? Transform the way you deal with others, okay? And most importantly, maybe transforming, changing the way you deal with yourself, okay? How you interact with yourself, how you understand yourself, how you deal with your emotions, Okay. Because the way you the way you deal with yourself, it, it's gonna resonate in the way you deal with others and everything that's gonna happen around you. Okay, so if things are going too fast, just ask to be not as fast, okay? Do ask to not be as fast. And remember that everything always works out for you, okay? You just have to focus on that and sometimes let it go. Ask and let it go, okay? Ask and let it go. Let's get a card here from the mermaid. We have homeland, okay? Arrival, a journey and establishment building settle. This card comes here with a turtle which is the, <clears throat> the yin energy, okay? The more passive energy, 
it's the going with the flow and you're arriving at where you need to arrive and you will definitely leave some things behind because they're moving forward so whatever doesn't serve is going to left behind and this is what i see in this reading whatever doesn't serve you it's going to be left behind because there is definitely here some transformation ha happening within you okay and you're going to realize there's a lot of things maybe even just um memories emotions that just don't serve you and they're not yours okay maybe some pains they're not yours so why do you have to carry it's not you their journey is not your journey okay so focus on that as well you have your own journey you don't have to carry anyone else's journey okay very good that's what i have for you i hope you enjoyed this reading let me know in the comments below Please uh, like and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, have a lovely day.